Welcome to this lecture. So in this lecture, we'll see how you can um, visualize uh, normalized difference vegetation index or NDVI. First, um, you need to import and authenticate the Earth Engine library. Uh, then uh, you need to, uh, I'll show you how to write a function that has calculate um, NDVI using a Landsat data. So first thing first, let's write that function um diff get ndvi so this is my function that does take a landsat data band four and band three and then creates a normalized difference vegetation index or ndvi um so um so that's the function and a return so we'll take an image as an input and returns that image but then so ours engine has a built-in um, ndvi um, function i'll call that function norm norm normalized and difference and then you provided a uh, two different bands and it will calculate um, ndvi uh, ratio so I'll define the band that I'm using. The first band is band four, and the other band is band three. I need a quotation here, and that's it. That's my function. And using this function, I'll just um, cast my, um, you know, Landsat data. But before I do that, let me import my Landsat data, ee.image because I'm using a Landsat data, a single image, Landsat, sorry, I have to make it a cap, Landsat slash LT5, I'm using a Landsat 5 data, and it's collection one of the Landsat data, and tier one, and then Actually, I'll use top of atmospheric reflectance. You can use a different type of data. LT05, that means Landsat uh, 5, and the image ID, which you can get it from the Erzinger library. So, 034. I have to use a specific image ID from the Erzinger library. Now I have my Landsat image, which I'll be using to calculate NDVI. So the next thing is um, using, you know, this function, the get NDVI function and applying this image and generate NDVI value, okay? So let's uh, write the title of our next um, analysis, compute NDVI from the scene. Okay, that's what we're doing here. So I'll just uh, create a variable in DVI1 and I'll call this get NDVI function here. Okay, get NDVI and use this image, which is image one, which is our Landsat. Uh, you know, image, which has different bands. And from those, I'll be using band four and band three, okay? So I'll just call image one here, and this will generate an NDVI value in this function uh, using our Landsat 5 data, okay? Now we have our NDVI. Uh, the next step is visualizing that data. And let's create a color parameter here. And I'll call it NDVI params. You can just call it differently if you want. It doesn't matter. So it's just a visualization parameter. So I'll call it palette. And close this. And just provide a list of you know colors for for this visualization. In this case, um, you can you can um, get this from Color Brewer. You can change it if you want to, but these are the list of um, colors that I'll be using. 
um, d43, which I've already um, prepared them beforehand, and you can change them if you want to. You can go to color brewer and then change the colors. Okay, color brewer. You can go to color brewer here, and then just um, click on I mean, different colors. For example, you need the green. Um, you can change it to five class, and then you can click the green. And these are the codes that I'm using. So you just can copy simply this and paste them in, in, in your code here. So that's how you can just, um, you know, edit um, different color codes uh, on Res Engine for your legend, okay? So don't be surprised, um, you know, how I, I get this, this um, color codes. It's just they are easy, you know, don't worry about them. You just can go to color brewer and you can choose any color. Uh, you know, red, green, blue, whatever, whatever you have, and just you know, check that specific color that you're interested in, and then you know, copy it, and then boom, you have uh, your legend. So that's that's fairly straightforward and easy. You don't have to be worrying about that. Okay, so let me just um, you know, type in all those color codes that I'll be uh, interested to visualize um, in my palette, and this case D seven. Um, 3027 that's um, one color I'll be using let me just get a code here and then a comma and then a code and the next one is FDA okay and 61 and the next one is FDA 08p. I have to, I need a call, a quote, right? Otherwise, you will just, uh, since these are numbers, you'll misunderstanding it as a, a number rather than a color code. Okay, so the next co color code that I want to add is nine uh, D9 EF 8p. Okay, I need to create the code code here. Okay, the next one is AE6D. And then um, 96A. I need uh, to close the code. Okay. And Six six D D six. That's my color. This is my last color code, and I'll use one A nine eight five zero. Let me just put a that um, hashtag sign on all of this color codes so that it will read them properly and I'm done with my uh, you know visualization parameter so the next thing is just to execute this so when I execute this it will generate NDVI from the Landsat image and create my color palette. So the last stage is to visualize our NDVI value. And to do that, um, I usually like to pull a function which I've already written uh, using a Folium package. Um, so this will import a Folium package and creates a map canvas here for our data. So the most important line is here. Uh, it will add the, the NDVI value, NDVI1. Let's check it. It's exactly the same as here, our NDVI value. So we have to input that and also our visualization parameter, NDVI parameters. We'll input that here in the map, um, a map um, layer. And also the name, we can, you can name it differently here, just but I use NDVI. And then let's execute this. Oh, something is wrong here. What is what is the color code? Okay, so AE6. All right, AE6. We have some error in the color code, okay? Which one is that? Okay, this one. What is wrong with this color code? If it's not matching with a specific, um, you know, uh, or 
you know color blue or something like that then it doesn't um, do it right so probably that's what we're having issue let's save this here and then let's execute that and then let's execute the other one hopefully we'll have the correct version now okay excellent so now we have you know imported a landsat image and created um, wrote a function uh, in DVI um, calculation function and then created a color part here you go we are visualizing our NDVI image that we generated using a Landsat scene data this is Landsat 5 based NDVI value here um, as you can see here we are in the you know, west coast of the United States in um, California San Francisco area as you can see uh, most of this is forested area and this is the urban area so we can see them you know greener more dense um, darker green area shows more forested area and DVI values and this is more like uh, urban development here in San Francisco area so we have um, a lower NDVI value obviously for urban area so that's how you write um, a function in, in Python or Zingen API to calculate NDVI using a Landsat image.